guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing my paycheck breakdown number two for the month of march let's just go ahead and get right into this video don't waste any time you know before i do my breakdown i need to crack open this bubbly Okay, so I'm going to be doing my breakdown and also I'm going to be reconciling my previous paycheck. I want to start incorporating this into my breakdowns. That way you can kind of see how I do my budget. This is the April um, booklet for the Budget Mom, but we're going to put this aside for a second because we're going to open up the March and reconcile my paycheck number one. Let me just open up to this page that I need. Okay, so here is my budget for paycheck number one. I'm going to write down my total income. That includes my paycheck, the stimulus, any money that came as income cash flow into my checking account for the past two weeks. And then I have my actuals amount. We're going to total these up. And then at the end, we're going to end up with my balance the day before I got paid. Okay. So let's just open up to this book. I'm going to have to tilt it a little bit because of how I write. Move this over and let me get my pen. I have my totals off to the side. That way it helps me remember everything. Okay, so I'm going to put my total here. It was $3,691.90. Okay, so... This actually did not come out in time. So I'm gonna just tally this up and write the total here. I'm gonna tally this up and write the total here. I think you guys can see that. The phone uh, thing is blocking me, so I really can't see. So let me just move this over a little bit just so I can, maybe what I can do is do that. I think that's better. I'm just going to tally up my actuals and then put the total at the bottom. Okay, so that's $843.12. And this was a transaction that I did during the past two weeks. I zelt some money for my cell phone, $102. Okay, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna carry this over. We're gonna subtract this total from this amount right here. So that's $3,691.90 minus $843.12. So that's two thousand eight hundred forty-eight dollars and seventy-eight cents. Now we're going to add this up and put the total here. $446.81. This here was miscellaneous unbudgeted that I spent in my last paycheck between my um, two paychecks. So I put that $91.80 here. Now we're going to subtract this amount from this. Well, this amount from that. $2,000. I'm going to bring this over here. Then we're going to add all these up. Equals 219. So we're going to take 2140197 minus 219. And that's 21. 
$82.97. Okay, so now we're gonna flip over to this page, which is the extra debt and then the savings. Okay, so what was that total? I think it was, okay, so I'm gonna put this total here, $182.97. So this is $345. Okay, so we're gonna take that minus $345. So that's $1,837.97. Okay. And now we're gonna tally up these amounts. That's 22 plus 24 plus 600 plus 211. So that's 857. So when you take 1837.97 minus 857 equals $980.97. And I'm going to show you in a second if that balances my checking account. Okay, so I just wanted to describe what this was here. So this here was my stimulus savings. So this is what I took out of my checking account for my stimulus. And then this here, the Chick-fil-A savings, this is what I took out of my checking account last pay period. So let's go over to my um, expense tracker. And you see my total here, 980.97 matches 980.97. And that, you guys, is how I reconcile my previous paycheck. Okay, so let's just get right into um, my paycheck number two breakdown. Okay, so this is April's um, budget by Ch paycheck workbook from the Budget Mom. I'm going to read the quote. It says, Prove to yourself that nothing is impossible. Yeah, nice and fresh. And this is her design for April. Alright, so let's just open up straight to the page that I need. And I... Um, I'll write in my um, green pen. Okay, so this is going to be paycheck number two. And it's going to be 326. 2021 so how these paychecks are is basically that last paycheck in the month is paying the beginning of april's bills so that's just the way the pay period falls okay so i have my budget written out and i'm just going to plug in the numbers all right so my rent this month is going to be 800 wow why did i write that like that 800 59 dollars and 43 cents okay my car note is 145 41 electric is 39 26 cell phone is 25 let me just open this up my gas is always 50 Compra is always 120, eating out is 50, spending is 100. Household is getting $6 this paycheck. Gifts is getting 15. Car maintenance is getting eight. 20 for medical, 40 for emergency, and then 10 for all of these. Okay, let's go to my savings challenge. Week 13 is going to get $26, and then week 14 is going to get $28. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, do this breakdown real quick. I'm just going to fast forward through this and write all this out and come back at the end to total count with you guys.
So now we're gonna add all of these up just to make sure that my count of my denominations matches this. Okay. Okay, so this is 23. One, two, three, plus two, plus three, plus three is 11. Okay, so we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus four is 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, and then three. Okay, so this is gonna be $23. 11 times 5 equals 55. 13 times 10 equals 130. 60 times 20, I mean 6 times 20 is 120. And then 50 times 3 is 150. Okay, so let's add all this up. Oh, I just realized this says 120. It needs to say 120, not 12. So 23 plus 55 plus 130 plus 120 plus 150. And that is correct. So this is the amount that I'm going to be stuffing for my second paycheck in March. Okay, guys. So that is the end of my video. Like I said, I wanted to make this short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed how I reconcile my previous paycheck how I break down my paychecks Let me just take one last drink before I go and, and again guys if you have any questions to how I do things and why I do them just go ahead and leave them in the comments I love interacting with everyone and yeah, I want to thank everyone for staying tuned for this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Take care.